I'd like to consider the tangent map interpretation of the deformation gradient. So this is an alternate interpretation of the deformation gradient. Now, just to remind you what we had from before, uh, when we have a deformation gradient f, we can consider and we showed that it's a, it's a tensor that maps a small vector d capital X to a vector in the current configuration d little x. And that's via using the deformation map chi and doing a Taylor series approximation uh, to the motion of the two endpoints of the original vector d capital X. And this Taylor series argument, of course, requires a truncation step, and that then requires that the norm of d capital X be much, much less than 1. Okay, so, But it's a very useful uh, uh, physical interpretation of the deformation gradient. What I'd like to do now is to look at a second interpretation, which is known as the tangent map. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to start by looking at a body B, so that's my reference configuration, and I want to consider a curve, L, on this body. So a curve is just simply a mapping from, the, from, a, from let's say, R1 onto the body B. So we pick some interval A to B, and we'll parameterize that interval by S, and as S goes from A to B, L capital here just simply traces out a curve in the reference body. So here I have L avail evaluated at little a, so that's the first endpoint of the interval, and here I have L evaluated at b, the second endpoint of the interval. And in between we're going to get a, let's assume, a continuous uh, differential curve here. Now when I have deformation, uh, this curve is going to be mapped with the body, so you can think of just simply painting some curve on the body, and now after deformation I get a new curve, and I'll call that little l. And little l is, again, it's a mapping from the interval a to b, but now into bt. And it's simply defined as chi, the deformation map, acting on big L. So we get this nice relationship between big L and little l through the deformation map. Now the curve themselves, they have tangent vectors, and that's and the tangent vector to a curve is just simply the derivative of the, the vector value with respect to the parameter. So in this case, it's d, the derivative of capital L with respect to s gives me the tangent vector in the reference configuration, and the derivative of little l with respect to s gives me the tangent vector to the curve in the current configuration. Uh, these two tangent vectors happen to be related to each other, and it's easy to show that simply by taking the derivative of this expression here with respect to s. If I take the derivative of this expression here with respect to s on the left side, I'm going to get the tangent vector in the current configuration. And to get, when I take the derivative on the right-hand side, I'll have to use the chain rule, and I'll have the derivative of chi with respect to its argument, which is just the reference positions, then the derivative with respect to L with respect to S. And so I get this nice relationship between the two tangent vectors through the gradient of the deformation map. So, and the gradient of the deformation map is just the deformation gradient, which we usually call F. So I have d little l ds equals F d capital L ds, and that's an exact relationship. So we get an F as, an, as a tensor exactly maps the tangent vectors from the reference configuration to the tangent vectors in the current configuration. And so we have this statement here uh, of this exact map, and, and for that reason F is also known as the tangent map. So it has two names, tangent map and the deformation gradient, and the two names emphasize different aspects of the interpretation of what the tensor F does. So deformation gradient uh, has this physical interpretation of mapping small line segments of material from the reference configuration to the current configuration, and the tangent map name is associated with this exact relationship of the fact that F moves a vector that's tangent to a curve in the reference configuration to the tangent of that same mapped curve in the current configuration.